Okay, this video is about how to create a VLAN. This is on a Cisco switch. I'm going to go down here in Packet Tracer and just grab a 2960 switch. Go ahead and jump into the CLI here. All right, switch. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to show you which VLANs are on this switch. Just type in show VLAN, and we'll see that we have uh, VLAN number one, VLAN number 1002, three, four, five. So when it says default, this is the out of the box VLAN that comes on any Cisco switch. Now these VLANs here cannot be deleted. Now you can remove the ports from this VLAN for security reasons, but you cannot delete this VLAN. So when we create a VLAN, we're going to start with number two. So first thing I'm going to do is just type in enable so I can make changes on the switch. Then I'm going to type in configure terminal. Okay, configure terminal. Now I'm going to create a new VLAN. And it's just as simple as say VLAN, we'll call this VLAN 2. Enter, and VLAN is created. Next thing we want to do is I want to give that VLAN a name. So I'm just going to call this one Butter. Name Butter. Enter. There we go. We've got a VLAN number two named Butter. Next thing I want to do is I just want to end out of here and I don't want to see what VLANs I have now. So if I click on, if I type in show VLAN, now we see that we have this VLAN here named Butter. So we've now created a VLAN. Next thing we want to do is add some ports in there. We got all these ports sitting out here, 24 different ports. Let's add a port to it. So what I'm going to do first is go into config terminal. I'm just going to type in conf t. Next thing I'm going to do is go to interface. We're going to grab an interface here. I would say let's just grab the first interface. Let's see if that'll work. So this is going to be config t. And then we're going to go to interface. F A. 0 dash 1. Hit enter. So now we're going to make some changes on this interface number 1. And we're going to give this switch port. We're going to change this mode to access. And the next command we're going to use switch port. I'm going to change the access. I'm going to give access to VLAN number two. And then we're going to end out of that. Now if we go to show VLAN, we can see that VLAN number two is named Butter. It's active and it's also tied to port number one. 